Hello, welcome. My name is Lauren with the Lauren Teaches Flute. Today we're going to be covering all the notes on the flute. And when I say all the notes, I'm talking about the low B just below the staff, all the way up to the fourth octave E, six ledger lines above the staff. So there are more notes in the fourth octave but I'm going to stop at the fourth octave E because I personally have never really needed to use notes higher in anything that I have performed thus far. So I'm gonna stop at the fourth octave E, which is still pretty high. But if you wanna look at more fourth octave fingerings, I'll leave a link to a website that has those and many alternate fingering suggestions in the fourth octave in the description below. Also, want to mention that I will leave timestamps in the description below as well. So if you're coming back to this video for reference and want to look up a note or something specific, all the timestamps will be in the description below. <laughs> and I will also be referring to the fingers throughout this video as left hand, one, two, three, thumb, pinky. Right hand, one, two, three, pinky. So the index finger will be one, middle two, and the ring finger is three. The next thing I want to mention is how I'm going to label the notes in the description. So my flute has a B foot joint, so it has this extra key right here. So I'm gonna to refer to the lowest note on my flute, or low B, as B0, since not all flutes have the B foot joint. Uh, but you probably have the C foot joint. That's what um, the lowest note typically is on a beginner flute. So I'll call the low C, C1, the C in the staff is C2, the C just above the staff, two ledger lines above the staff is C3, and the C five ledger lines above the staff is C4. And so that's how I'll refer to the notes and the different registers that they're in throughout this video. Same thing with D, low D is D1, D in the staff is D2, and you get the idea. The next thing I want to mention I feel I may get a question about is if you're using the thumb B flat fingering, is it okay to leave it there when you're playing other notes? And my answer to this is in most cases, yes. So even though the fingering chart tells you to use a single thumb on almost all the notes, it's okay to put your thumb on the thumb B flat. For example, if you're playing a piece of music with B flat in the key signature, and you want to use your thumb B flat fingering and you want to set it and forget it so that when you when you have the B fingering and you take all your fingers off and are playing a B, it's already playing B flat. You don't have to put this finger down. So the place that this will not necessarily work is notes like the high F sharp, three ledger lines above the staff. It's going to squeak if you have your thumb on the B flat key, so keep it on the single thumb or the B natural key. Same thing with the high B, five ledger lines above the staff. The B natural, five ledger lines above the staff, if you put your thumb here, it's going to be very squeaky. So keep it on the single thumb key. Obviously, if you're playing B naturals, keep your thumb on the B natural key as well. The last thing I'm going to say is that the fingerings I'm using are what I consider to be the most standard. I'm not necessarily going to go into alternate fingerings, although I did make the video already, and there are two notes that I do give alternate fingering suggestions for, but for the most part, I'm basically just giving you one fingering per note, and it's the fingering I view as the most standard. That being said, there is room for discussion. For example, the third octave B flat, five ledger lines above the staff. Over the years, I have seen at least three different fingerings in three different fingering charts for what the standard fingering for that note is. So I'm gonna show you what I like the most, what works the best for me, and what I feel is uh, the most standard. But that being said, that doesn't mean that someone else 
might not have a slightly different opinion of what they see as the most standard and that's totally okay. So that's just where there's room for discussion. That's one piece and then the very last thing I want to mention is that I love using mini alternate fingerings. I have different, I think I made a video on my favorite alternate fingerings to use on the flute and I certainly invite you to play around with some alternate fingerings because certain fingerings work better on specific notes for specific dynamics at specific times in music and it's really fun to kind of develop your own relationship with alternate fingerings. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and leave a link to a fingering chart below that has a lot of alternate fingering suggestions that you can experiment with and see what works best for you, your flutes, your intonation, and your own playing if you're curious about some of those. All right, so with all that being said, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into the main part of this video. Low B, left hand, one, two, three, thumb, right hand, one, two, three, pinky on the second roller key. C, left hand, one, two, three, thumb, right hand, one, two, three, pinky on the first roller key. C sharp or D flat, left hand, one, two, three, thumb, right hand, one, two, three, pinky on the C sharp or D flat key. D, left hand, one, two, three, thumb, right hand, one, two, three. E flat or D sharp, left hand, one, two, three, thumb, right hand, one, two, three, pinky. E, left hand, one, two, three, thumb, right hand, one, two, pinky. F, left hand, one, two, three, thumb, right hand, one, pinky. F sharp or G flat, left hand, one, two, three, thumb, right hand, three, pinky. G, left hand, one, two, three, thumb, right hand, pinky. A flat or G sharp, Left hand, one, two, three, thumb, pinky, right hand, pinky. A, left hand, one, two, thumb, right hand, pinky. B flat or A sharp, three different common fingering options for this one. The first one is the thumb B flat fingering, which is left hand one and thumb on the thumb B flat, and then right hand pinky. Second fingering is the side key B flat, so left hand one, thumb on the single thumb key, and right hand shift the index finger, first finger over to the left to go on the side lever key, and then pinky. And the third fingering, one plus one B flat, left hand, one thumb on the single thumb key, right hand, one pinky. B natural, left hand, one thumb on the single thumb key, right hand, pinky. Left hand, one, right hand, pinky. C sharp 
or D flat. Left hand, nothing. Right hand, pinky. I'll go ahead and give two other common alternate fingerings for this since it tends to be a sharp note, the C-sharp or D-flat in the staff. Another option is left hand nothing, right hand two, three, pinky. And then the third option is left hand three, third finger, and right hand two, three, pinky. I like to use the last two options for when I'm holding C sharps or D flats in the staff out, but when I'm playing a scale or something fast, I use the first fingering. D, left hand, two, three, thumb, right hand, one, two, three. E flat or D sharp, left hand, two, three, thumb, Right hand, one, two, three, pinky. E, left hand, one, two, three, thumb. Right hand, one, two, pinky. F, left hand, one, two, three, thumb. Right hand, one, pinky. F sharp or G flat, left hand, one, two, three, thumb. Right hand, three, pinky. G, left hand, one, two, three, thumb. Right hand, pinky. sharp or A flat, left hand, one, two, three, thumb, pinky, right hand, pinky. A, left hand, one, two, thumb, right hand, pinky. or A sharp. Three different common fingerings for this one. First one is the thumb B flat fingering. Left hand one thumb on the double thumb key. Right hand pinky. Side key B flat. Left hand one thumb on the single thumb key. Right hand shift the index or first finger to the left to go on the side lever key right here and then pinky. And the last fingering is one plus one. That's what I call it. Uh, left hand one thumb on the single thumb key, right hand one pinky. B natural, or B. Left hand, one thumb on the single thumb key, right hand, pinky. C, left hand, one, right hand, pinky. C sharp or D flat, left hand, nothing, right hand, pinky. Left hand, two, three, thumb, right hand, pinky. E flat or D sharp, left hand, one, two, three, thumb, pinky. Right hand, one, two, three, pinky. Left hand, one, two, thumb, 
Right hand, one, two, pinky. F, left hand, one, three, thumb. Right hand, one, pinky. F sharp or G flat, left hand, one, three, thumb on the single thumb key, right hand, three, pinky. G, left hand, one, two, three, right hand, pinky. A flat or G sharp. Left hand, two, three, pinky. Right hand, pinky. A, left hand, two, thumb. Right hand, one, pinky. flat or A sharp, left hand thumb, right hand one, two is on the first trill key, and that's it. B natural or B, <laughs> left hand one, three, thumb on the single thumb key, right hand, the third finger is on the second trill key. And C, left hand, one, two, three, pinky, right hand, one. C sharp or D flat, left hand, two, pinky, right hand, one. D, left hand, thumb, three, right hand, one, two, pinky on the first roller key. D sharp or E flat, left hand, three, pinky, thumb, right hand, one on the first trill key, two is on the E key. E, left hand, one, two, three, right hand, two, and the three is on the second trill key. So there you have all the notes on the flute from the B just below the staff all the way up to the fourth octave E. So I hope this video can be resourceful for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more flute content like this one. Thanks so much for being here and I'll see you in another video very soon. Until next time, take care. Bye.